round two of this trial. Uh, no audio for this one, unfortunately, other than my sweet, sweet voice. <laughs> it's not that sweet, but I just like saying that. So we have another Lance player, this time in the form of Yannick Neleman on the left here. Uh, his opponent for this round is going to be Alwyn Baars, uh, regular in Haarlem. He is playing Moonstompy. Now, if you're going to ask me how I think this matchup is going to go, well, my answer is on your screen right now. I think at least game one is going to be a very, very fast game. At the moment that Moon comes down, I think... Yannick is pretty much in a, a world of hurt, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe these players will surprise us here. We'll have to wait and see. And we have a Chalice on one and a Legion Warboss here for Alwyn. A pretty fast start. One of the advantages of playing Ancient Tomb, of course. My lookup still works. Yes, it still does. Ancient Tomb, perfect card. Maze of Ith for Yannick and a basic four, so he does have green mana, worst case scenario, but that Maze of Ith is not the greatest thing, especially not when a Magus of the Moon hits the field. Yannick gonna try and crop rotate it away. Uh, well, he's gonna try to <laughs> to crop rotate it away, but tell us of the void. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This this exact problem right here. There's nothing you can do as a lance player in this situation with a chalice on one. It's just not happening. Okay, we know what's coming now. Uh, we have all been keeping a seven with Yannick going to five. I'm pretty sure. Yannick was hoping for maybe a Forcer Vigor. We'll see if he actually has it. And then, even if he does, it's it's hoping that Alwyn has Moon and not a Magus. And, yeah, this is... Uh, <laughs> this is a matchup. What can I say here? This... The cards are played and and people win. Ooh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That's, that's not a Blood Moon. Okay, maybe we have a game here. Maybe we have a game here. Uh, this Fable is going to help Alvin find his, his moons. Uh, yeah, from his side, I don't expect much sideboard either. Uh, he is an extra Magus. He plays... Let's see, he plays two Magus in the main, one in the side, and then he has the full four blood moon. And yeah, aside from that, I think this is a pretty pretty one-dimensional matchup. Just play the moon, kill the lance player before the lance player finds a way out of the moon and just plays a, a, a merit lage. Well, there is one interesting thing. If you wait for the moon, then play the Dark Depths, once you get rid of the moon, you do have Merit Lage, so it's not impossible, but that is a, a very narrow game plan. For sure. Rebel Master coming down. We got a... Uh, a, a couple, couple goblins in, and again, Yannick here is on a mulligan to, on a mulligan to five. So, I, I think at this point he he probably just kept a hand that does anything. But interesting that Alwyn decided not to f go look for any kind of moon effect here. I guess he figured his hand was pretty playable anyway. Had some fast mana, 
Tell us of the Void and a Fable. Yeah, I think I would have kept that too. Just relevant interaction, some ways of, of digging for for stuff. Yeah. Sounds like a, a pretty good hand to me. Another Rebel Master looks like. Yeah, maybe he doesn't even need a moon here. <laughs> Sometimes M's the beats. Rough matchup, rough mulligans, it, it happens. I mean, he's not completely out of it yet. Again, there are some lines I I could see. I could see Yannick somehow creaking a win here, but that window is closing real. F okay, yeah, no, he he has had enough. <laughs> oh no. Oh that no, that's that's too many crop rotations. Oh well, it happens. It happens.